The moon worked day in and day out, but it often went unnoticed. The moon was always in the sky, shining especially bright through the nights. When it was very big and full, it could illuminate whole fields and streets, covering everything in a beautiful white glow. On nights when the sky was very clear, the moon could even shine in through people's windows. On those nights, everyone admired it for its size and splendor. During the day, the sun was always the center of attention. It was especially well-liked by the inhabitants of Earth for its warm rays. On summer days, the moon had to wait much longer for the sun to finally set, and thick clouds often blocked the moon's view of Earth. On some days, heavy rains meant that the moon had to try to shine through solid fog and dark clouds, but often couldn't manage it. On those days, the moon was especially discouraged. Nobody sees me anyway, the moon would mutter, feeling sorry for itself and the faint, flickering stars around it. Still, evening after evening, the moon waited for its time to shine, often saying, Come on, clouds, pass quickly. When it was finally dark enough, the moon would gently begin to wake the stars and encourage them to shine. Each evening, the moon made sure all the stars were ready on time to shine and sparkle high in the sky in case it was a clear night. On clear nights, all the attention belonged to the stars and the moon. Sometimes, the stars were so happy that they danced across the sky, leaving long trails of light behind them. One day, the clouds spread so far that for weeks there was no way to shine through. The stars tried to keep each other happy by telling jokes and stories, and the moon did its best to keep everyone awake for nightfall in case the clouds cleared. This went on, night after night, with the moon and the stars all hoping that the cloud coverage would dissipate. Of course, they all wanted to be prepared to shine as brightly as possible when it did, but the clouds did not move. Eventually, the moon became very tired. One evening, it could not stay awake any longer. The stars also fell asleep, dreaming of clear nights when they were admired in the sky. The moon and the stars were in such a deep sleep that none of them noticed when the cloud coverage broke. That day, the sun stayed out late and colored the sky with the most beautiful reds and purples. But something wasn't right. When the sun was about to disappear, it noticed the sky was darker than usual. On evenings like this, the moon usually can't wait to take over my position in the sky, the sun thought. Then the sun noticed that all the stars were missing too. I must find the moon before the inhabitants of Earth notice, thought the sun. But everyone the sun asked didn't know where the moon and the stars had gone. And everywhere the sun looked, the moon wasn't there. The next few nights were the darkest anyone had ever seen. There wasn't a twinkle in the sky. The animals and people realized they had been taking the moon and the countless little stars for granted. They missed their glowing and glittering. The moon suddenly woke up from a dream that it had overslept. Except it wasn't a dream. Nervously, the moon looked around and was startled to find that the night was pitch black and that all of the stars were fast asleep. Right away, the moon set about gently waking each star. On Earth, after many nights of darkness, the animals and people looked up to the sky in joy and marveled as each bright spot lit up in the dark sky one after the other. Moral of the story. Wait for you time and shine bright at the right time. In a faraway land, there lived a beautiful rose. It was planted right next to a large thorny cactus. The rose was very proud of its beautiful looks and hated that it had to live next to the ugly cactus. Every day the rose woke up and mocked the cactus, calling it thorny and ugly. Even though it was hurt, the cactus never insulted the rose. The other plants tried to get the rose to correct its ways, but it refused to listen. Eventually, spring turned to summer and the days became hotter and the land turned into a desert. The rose started wilting in the heat and started losing its beauty without any water. The cactus stood upright in the heat without any problem. One day, the rose saw a bird drinking some water from the cactus. Shamefacedly, it asked the cactus for some water. The kind cactus gave the rose water without any thought and helped it through the summer. Moral of the story, 
the beautiful rose, and the thorny cactus. Don't judge anyone by their looks. Beauty doesn't last forever, but kindness and empathy will always help you. 